Hello everyone, this is Calamity here. We are ready to play Planet Zoo. I am really excited. Um, I'm going to do half of the first tutorial um, in the first video because it is quite long. Um, and then I'll do the second half of the tutorial in the next video. So um, yeah, I'll put the videos up one after the other. I'm excited, so let's get going to learn how to have a career in Zoom management. Okay, let's go. So we're going to the Goodwin House, renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s. Goodwin House has since become one of the most respected zoos in the country. Oh, this is in the UK. More recently, it has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities, but due to various issues, the work hasn't been quite been completed, which is where, where you come in. You and me people, we're doing it together. Start new. We will go easy. One day we'll come back and do a hard one. Start new. Here we go. I'm excited people. I hope you all are. I hope you're going to follow along with me and maybe build your zoo or even come back um, watch my zoo and then come back and build your own or even just stay here and, and learn about animals. It shouldn't take too long to um, to load the game. Here we go. Beautiful gates. We are going into the zoo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Flanco language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. Hi, the Bernie. The person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> Oops. As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, oh, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. That's My good. My keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be, too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire. Or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. Less shouting that way. <laughs> She's going to shout at me? Hope not. Hello there. Hi. The rosy, fresh face of yours. I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Yep, that's me. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Okay, so on this screen here, we have, um, I guess, a list of things that we have to do. So if we get lost, we can follow that and it looks like it's in the cup. All right, so we go to the cup. Yes, that's where it is. Um, yeah, I'd rather look at the scenery. Okay, we use our normal controls, W, S, A and D. We also have on our ma ma middle mouse button, we can sort of like go up and down and swerve and everything. Our rise right mouse button, we can just like go on the one level. Also, we have a Q that goes down and an E that goes up. So they're the basic controls. That's all you need to know right now. Go down a bit. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, 
can hibernate for up to seven months a year. <laughs> wow. Oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> yep, me. Select one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. Are they both in the water? This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Okay, so it's giving us step by step things to do. We have to click on like these icony things. Um, yeah. See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Aren't they so cute? I could stay here all day and watch them. It's fun, funny finding them both in the water. So we've done our first objective. We've learnt how to use the camera. Bears are just coming out now. We know some controls, how to go around. Alright, I guess we'll be going back to them later. Maybe. I love the, the animation of their um, swimming. It is so real like. Okay. We'll just click off them. Um, we'll go up. And where did we have to go? Go up a bit more. Alright, over here. Okay, we're here. Are we in the right spot? Panthera Leo Leo, or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride, although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, <laughs> which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Funny. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Just a moment. Um, go down, Q, and go in. Did I see a baby in there? There is nothing cuter. If I can get there. Then a baby lion. So he's half a year old. Let's have a little camera on him. Oh, isn't he the cutest? Totally the cutest. <laughs> so there's dad who snores. We'll just go off him. There's dad. There's mum. Okay, we've seen the lions, people. We'll go up. We'll just click off Eliza. Go up. And we will go to Habitat over here. Okay. And we'll go down. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, two somethings, warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay. Here we go. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select adopt from the side menu. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Um. 
There we go. <laughs> they weren't here. <laughs> adopt. Adopt. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in a trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? There we go. We can click on both of them. Yes. And we'll send to the zoo. Click down here. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Sure. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat, and enrichment. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't okay. worry, that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. So we've got all those things here. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Now it's a good idea to put them where people are going to see them eat. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Okay, you can see it's sort of red and that's fine there. Oh, there we go. Nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. So we'll just have a quick look at these guys. So you can double click on them and um, you'll get the camera view. And you can spin around. Where are they going? Probably to get some food, to have a drink. There we go. These are our warthogs. He's going to have a sleep. There we go. There's a warthog. Whoa, he just walked through me. We'll have a look at you two. There we go. Alrighty, we'll just click off him click off him he's having a drink and looks like they're getting fed there we go they've got some nice food so if we click on them they won't be hungry in a minute there we go that's they're hungry they're not hungry anymore this one's hungry but he'll eat There we go. He's happy too. All right. So where did we have to go? Um, go to the highlighted area. Okay. So we'll go up. Scoot around. Oh, over there. I see it. Oh, this place hasn't got a fence. Oh, here. Before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. So we pause the game. Let's pause the game or the train comes. Ah, 
zombie guy. Like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration, because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Okay, job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Okay, so we'll come over here. We'll go to barrier. We can't see anything. Let's go backwards. There we go. Are we hooked up to the path? How will we know if we're hooked up to the path? Obstructed. Do we have to go a bit closer? Oh, I saw something happen then. Oops, outside of area. So we have to go in that box. Can we bring this down? No. Should we go down? There we go. A bit closer, maybe. So where's the path? Are we on a path? <laughs> Why isn't this happening? It's the first time it's ever happened. Maybe we need to go on the outside of it. Oh, I just saw something. There we go. We're on a path. We did need to go on the outside. So go on the outside, people, to build. Right. Let's complete the Finally. barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Sure. So people, this is always the thing I've feared of doing because I've had a try at this and it never seems to want to do what you want it to do. Okay, right click to go off it. There we go. Um, why is it not hooking up? There we go. Now you don't have to click on the fence each time. Maybe we should have done this on the outside. Oh, we're doing a great job. did hook up so we just go along a little bit um you can hear it click in it will go click okay something hasn't clicked in is it around here let's turn it around and see okay we should be all clicked in Okay, we've lost our gate. Where did our gate go? Guess we can put another one in. Get up to the road. What happened to our gate, people? Not really sure what's happened. This tutorial's a bit um Good work. There we go. Remember, <laughs> it's a bit funny place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a step ladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Okay. 
that's the glass one. So we'll just put a bit here. Click this one. Can we go along? No, just that one. There we go. There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Okay, um, so we went to facilities for that. Now, there we go. we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? Probably. By the way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, okay. I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. All right, you've finished the habitat. Go back to one. So it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Yep, sure. Let's get four of them in here. Okay, animal training. Animal. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Send them to the storage. How come there's only two in there? Send to zoo. Click here. We'll go back to the... Didn't we adopt them? I'm sure we did. Send them to the storage. Um, there we go. Send to zoo. Put them in here. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. Okay. It's so. often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get Dude. a really good view of the animals. Here we go. Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> well, okay, everyone, that is it for the first half of the video. Can we take that off? Oh, I should have done that first. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me. So, we have completed our first bronze level. Well, the first level which is bronze um i'm going to end the video here i hope you join me for the next video um it will be the continuation of the story um and doing more levels and learning more things so so far today we've um learned how to put the camera onto the animals we've learned how to adopt animals we've learned how to give them some feed and water and enrichments and we've also built fences put in glass um sections and put in a donation box all right so we've done quite a bit as far as um starting off on our management zoo management so um i hope you've learned a bit so um hope you like share and subscribe and don't forget to come back and watch part two it should follow straight on after this one all right it will be i'll i'll upload them at the same time all right, I'll see you soon. Bye.